This first heading uses the traditional approach of reducing once on each breakpoint. The second heading is fluid. They both reach the same max and min, but the way they get there is different. Whenever we zoom, the fluid heading increases in size each time, but the adaptive heading actually shrinks from an increased zoom when we cross into a new breakpoint. So fluid type done well can improve the zoom experience. Usually when the user increases their font size enough, it would switch them into the next breakpoint, making the font size smaller, which creates the same effect as zooming. But since Webflow breakpoints are set with pixels, not rim, increasing the font size just keeps us on the desktop breakpoint. But fluid sizes can save the day. This fluid heading scaling from 5 rim on desktop to 3 on mobile to match this adaptive size, which is changing to the same values. With the adaptive heading, no matter how large we made our font size, we never actually see the mobile version. But if we paste in a 3 rim mobile version for comparison here, notice when we increase our font size, the fluid heading eventually matches our mobile version. This means the fluid one is working the same way as browser zoom. So instead of manually reducing sizes on each breakpoint, if we use fluid values for any of our paddings and font sizes, then the experience can be the same regardless if the user increases their font size or zooms. This reduces issues like overflowing text and other problems we usually face. For a fluid font size to be accessible, this middle part needs to use both VW and RIM. It can't use just VW. The RIM value has to be greater than zero, so no negative numbers. And the desktop value can be no greater than 2.5 times the mobile value. If this is any larger compared to the mobile value, it would fail accessibility requirements. And the same thing goes if using adaptive font sizes. If we make our desktop too much larger than the mobile one, it fails those requirements. If you'd like to set up your own Fluid font sizes that follow these accessibility requirements, I'll link to my Fluid Builder in the description below.